Mm. Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Resales. My name is Ryan, and I get stuff from yard sales, garage sales, thrift stores, flea markets, and such, and try to turn them for a profit online. Uh, with today, one of the biggest finds of the year uh, that I'm hoping is going to turn into something really cool. Uh, and we'll get to that last because, you know, anticipation building and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I have a couple sales. And actually, yesterday was a pretty decent buying day. So uh, we will jump into that right now. All right. First off, first up, um, let's go pull up the stuff. Uh, first thing I've got is I've got a, I'll have a tentative sale. Uh, after I drop my phone, uh, a tentative sale on this batch. Uh, this is going to be a local Facebook sale of American Girl books. Uh, I bought these for fifty cents a piece. I have somebody local. Um, I've actually sold some, I've sold some to her before, uh, and these uh, I think we did the same thing last time. Two bucks a piece, so that's going to be out. Like there's fourteen books here, so twenty eight bucks uh, from seven. So uh, hopefully that'll get done. That's probably I think she paid PayPal last time. It was just a local PayPal uh, transaction, but uh, that is is a local. I don't even remember. Yeah, I think it was a like a local uh, yard sale Facebook group. I think I put those up on, and I remembered their name. She was one of the, actually one of the last people I sold something to locally. So, uh, and I think I probably I, I think two bucks a piece. I, there's several other Facebook niche groups. I think I could have sold these on too. So that's where they were going to go if I hadn't have sold them to her. Next up. Uh, something y'all would have seen like two or three days ago. I think I picked this up Monday. No, I picked it up last Friday at Flea Market. And it is a, a beat up, it's a beat up box. It's an unbuilt 56 monogram 56 Chevy model. 20 bucks shipped. Uh, I've said it before, say it again, say it every time. Unbuilt models two bucks a piece or less with the box uh even if they're incomplete is like most of the parts are there and a bunch of the parts are on trees grab them if you get uh built models partially built models stuff like that if you can get those cheap and lot them up those tend to sell uh it's worth worth grabbing and looking up and seeing that sort of stuff particularly if it's something that's out of production uh that stuff will generally still has a market there's still hobbyists out there who do models the things still sell uh, hobby lobby has an aisle of them so uh worth doing and finally this was this is a 14 dollars sale uh, this is one of those book lots i always go back and forth on uh yep yeah, this is 15 bucks for one two three four five six seven, for nine R.L. Stein, mostly, these are mostly Goosebumps books. 14 bucks for nine Goosebumps books. Uh, I'm back down to, to, if they're the original run, I'll grab them at 50 cents. If they're not, I'll wait to see if they go half price at 25 cents or less sometimes. It may depend on how much they are. Uh, on what I'm feeling like at the time. But, uh, so at minimum, these were at most 50 cents a piece, so 450, 14 bucks, 10 cents. You know, I made I made a few dollars on this lot. Uh, I, I have it, if I can get a bunch of goosebumps at a time, maybe I'll do it because I can get them all lighted up at once. They don't sell as fast as I'd like them to most of the time, but sometimes they do. The best goosebumps books to buy are like the last four or five in the original series. And those are $20, $30 books, depending on condition. And I've sold those before uh, for pretty reasonable prices. So, that's my sales. 
and that's a sip of coffee. I really, really want to get a coffee sponsor one day. That's my big thing. You can do something like that. I'd love to get sponsored by Community Coffee, but that part. Uh, they're a little too big to sponsor YouTube dudes. Uh, anyway. So, next is my smaller finds and then my bigger finds. So, Star Wars! Little Star Wars. Big Star Wars guy. Always have been, always will be. These are, uh, I think these are Target exclusive R2-D2 uh, remakes of the droids figures from the 80s cartoon that ran like a season or two. Uh, so that's what, I, I got five of them. These were two bucks a piece at Goodwill. Uh, I think I was originally hoping maybe get $10 a piece on them. I don't know if that's going to happen because when I pulled the stickers off, some of the uh, uh, packaging be got beat up. I think I'll be fine on them. It, w it was a little, it was worth a shot, uh, I think, to grab them. At minimum, I'll get 3 to $5 a piece on them at, at, out at the flea market. Uh, but I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try some Facebook groups with those first. I think that's the best avenue if I can get them in, uh, to some collector's hands uh, rather than going on eBay next. So I think that'll be the best way to try to get rid of those. Because you'll find somebody, uh, the great thing about something like this is you can get something, a uh, collector who wants to be able to open one uh, can get one new in the package. And the, since the package is already damaged, it's like it's fine to open and you can have a mint figure out of the package with the neat little coin. So, anyway, that's that plan. We'll see y'all guys. Uh, next up, this was three or four bucks. A, a What If t-shirt. 2XL. That's a good size. Uh, so, it's a Pop Tees Funko t-shirt. Still wrapped up in the box. I think I saw this going for 20 bucks. I, but I didn't check the size when I saw that. So this may go a little bit higher. So I may be able to get 30 on this because of the sizing. So uh, new in package, just saw this laying there. I actually had to uh, ask them to reprice it because there was no sticker on it when I grabbed it. So neat little find there. Uh, finally, uh, 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 before we get to the big one, uh, hymnal, Methodist hymnal. Uh, I think I'll get uh, this was two bucks. I think I'll get 10 to 15 for it. Uh, this is a 1939 Methodist hymnal. Uh, clean on the inside. Uh, no church, no specific church on it. It's actually, uh, this is this is neat. Uh, there was a guy who wrote a prayer in it to the, to the people uh, he was giving it to. And that that's back when cursive, like old guys like that, their cursive is fun, man. Uh, I, I got decent handwriting, but it's nowhere near how some of this stuff can go. So, uh, but it's clean. Uh, the best hymnals to get are clean all the way through with no church markings on the front, particularly. Uh, those, those, I've, I've, uh, because some new, particularly newer hymnals uh, for churches looking out there to try to get some for their pews. Uh, newer hymnals you don't want uh, won't well, churches won't buy ones with with a, a previous church like in Boss Church Town. Uh, you want them clean. Uh, but this is an older hymnal, which is why I grabbed it, uh, and so it's going to go in my hymnal box and hopefully get get sold. This second hymnal, I, I haven't found any hymnals in a while, like a few months, and I found two in the last two trips to Goodwill. So, part of sciences. Finally, okay. Before I get into this, this is my one of my rules. If it's mechanical, heavy, and weird looking, look it up. Uh, particularly if it's smallish, uh, it you're gonna run across it, it. It's you. You may have found something if you kind of follow that rule, particularly if it's in good condition. Uh, but yeah, something heavy, mechanical, weird looking. Uh, yeah, and you don't recognize like that that's funny you get that in the back of your head pull your phone out because time to look something up that's what I did with this this was $25 Ugh. it's a slide ride it is like a safety seat 
type thing for I think uh, folks with handicap, uh, elderly folks who have trouble getting in and out of cars. I think I don't know, but it is. Look at the bottom of this. This is uh, it folds out, and if you look it up online, there's pictures of this, and it kind of sits on a next to on like a car. Uh, like this goes on the ground and this goes into the car and it sits like that and it's like some stool or I don't know but uh, I looked it up and I got excited because comps on this thing ugh, it falls up comps on this thing wonder how much wonder how much four to five hundred dollars comps I think there were some that sold in the three to four hundred dollar range that were like, oh, that's cosmetic damage. This ain't got cosmetic damage. There ain't nothing wrong with this thing. So that got me all excited. We'll see. Um, it's about 16 pounds. Gonna ship it UPS. Uh, and and I actually didn't do, I almost always do free shipping. Uh, I didn't on that one. Uh, I pulled the price down a little bit. I think I got it for something like $4.75 plus shipping. And uh, we'll go from there. And I got like weighted shipping on it uh, so that it doesn't mess, mess everybody over uh, too much. So that was one of the neatest things I ever found. So, uh, th this is the best find I've had probably in a few years. Um, I've, I've got a couple books go in the hundreds over the years I this is I the with the frequency that I go to thrift stores and garage sales and that sort of thing I get about one hit kind of like that a year around here I don't find a whole lot of stuff that uh, completely blows the doors open uh, I had that uh, Korea War jacket that went for a good bit. Uh, that was probably the best find up to uh, until this. That was that was the best find. But as to absolute, that's a, to me that's a home run. This is an absolute grand slam that this thing moves. So uh, uh, so I have one viewer. Uh, <clears throat> I think you just logged on just after I showed it. This thing slide and ride folding car safety car seat thingy. Ugh. That's a workout. It's got a handle, though. So, uh, anyway, uh, hitting the thrift store later today. Uh, I got through a bunch of work yesterday and got real busy. That's why I was on early. So, that is everything today. And I'm hoping to find some more cool stuff this afternoon. So, if you're out there, remember... Keep an eye out for weird stuff. Use your brain. Use that six cents you get after you get a little experience in your hands like, hey, that's funny. Let me look that up. Trust me. It, it, trust that instinct. Uh, don't 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 pass it up. Because you'll it'll it'll come out, it'll work out for you. Because that's that's where that's where the gems are. So be good out there. Happy hunting. Let's work it out. Oh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.